Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on anubavtrainings.com regarding SAP Build Apps. In this series of videos, we are learning introduction to SAP Build Apps with low-code, no-code development. In the last session, I gave you an overview of what is Build Apps. In today's session, we are going to see how to create your Build App subscription using a booster in SAP BTP account how to set up your build apps subscription login to the subscription to start building your first application so if you like my work please like share and subscribe the channel and also give the link of this playlist in the whatsapp group of your company so other colleagues can also take an advantage having said that let's get started and understand how do you set up build apps subscription in your btp account free trial account so I'm switch over, switching out back to my BTP account and go to the global account level. For your information, again, I'm repeating, we are using BTP trial account here. Okay, then we go to the booster. And search for SAP build. So you can see get started with build apps i will click on start as is a trial account there's only one booster it is now checking what are the important ingredients required before we start making this recipe so checking authorization checking custom idp and checking entitlements so all three is already there if you remember the identity provider service we have already configured in the last class in order to make our SAP build work zone run. So that is there. That's why it's showing done. If you are skipping my last lecture of build work zone and directly jumping to this lecture here, then you will see a warning here. So that's just a warning, which means the account set up with the booster will automatically create the cloud identity service. So this service, which we set up manually, will be automatically subscribed to your account, the cloud identity uh, service. So if you just come back, you see this cloud identity service i manually did subscription last episode but if i wouldn't have done that if i directly start the booster of build apps then this will show as a warning here here as a warning and don't worry you can still proceed and it will automatically create the cloud identity service to manage your application users now click on next button now here you can just go with creating a new sub account or select a sub account so obviously we already created a sub account so we choose select a sub account next and now it'll list down all the sub account which we have it will automatically pick up my sub account you can see it has picked up with the space click on next button now it is asking the identity provider it is going to use so this is our custom identity provider now you also have to provide here the email id which will be granted the roles automatically to be able to use build app so i will provide my email id to grant myself automatically all the role required to uh, become an administrator for build apps similarly all the role required for me to become a developer so that i can utilize the build apps uh, offering by sap to develop application with build apps i will also parallelly show you what's happening if you go to users tab you can see i have configured my user anubhav you can see last class we did this and here right now if you see i have only the roles assigned related to my account so in total there are 13 roles right now there are no roles assigned automatically right now for build apps yeah so why providing the user id here what it does it will use this identity provider which we configured yeah this one and here it will automatically add required role to my user id so i can also add my uh, colleague ananya's email id which is this one as part of also developer user so she will get permission to even develop so i put comma put second email id also yeah perfect so i click on next button now it is just giving me the summary and I can finish. So now you see it is first assigning the service quota, then adding Cloud Foundry users. Yeah, users are already added 
yes both the users creating destination what is this destination basically to allow connectivity of build apps with other services so it's adding that then it's subscribing now to the build apps subscription so that we as a developer can use it then it will create role collection so that it can assign it to my users which i have given during the booster and then it will assign those roles to my user id so that i myself can work as an administrator to be able to talk to my uh, build apps and create application and finally mapping the group to the role collection so it will create a group uh, of developers and grant all the permission to that as well so in the future if you have new people new developers on boarding you just add your user to the group all the people in that group will automatically get that get that role so that is just it is what what it is going to do so in the meanwhile you can come back and you can also observe once the booster is complete all the roles required so currently i have just 13 roles granted to my use you can see one three and minakshi or the ananya have been granted only just one role at the moment so once the subscription is complete you will see that all the roles will be granted now in the meanwhile i'll also come back and show you instance and subscription and magically what will happen the build apps have come look at that it has subscribed to that service yeah so this was because of the boost it has come here so you can see okay it's all done i will now also go back to users and show you the user so you can see it has added uh, my user and to my user it has also granted you see the standard roles which i was telling you build app administrator build app developer yeah both the roles are automatically granted to my user id similarly it has also created entry for this here you can see and it has granted the build app developer role to uh, ananya's user id so that is the magic which is what it is doing for us so that ananya or myself can go and authenticate ourselves and can start building the applications superb so this work was done automatically by the booster behind the scene so if you don't want to use booster or don't have the booster you can manually do these activities fantastic so now it's the time that we go and launch the uh, build apps so that we can start building our first application we will come back in the future classes and again review the user management capabilities in the future again so you will understand end-to-end -end user management as well having said that i go to instance and subscriptions and i will have the build apps subscription and i click on that it will launch another tab and now it will first ask me to choose identity provider wow look at that so do i want to use the because my user is configured with two identity providers now one is the sap default identity providers yes where i, I have not granted yet the build app roles and another is this ID, custom identity provider which we created in the last class uh, which has been granted the role so you can decide here yeah so default or the one which you have the second one so if i go with default now what will happen i will get an error that i cannot access the build apps why because with the default identity provider i don't have the roles assigned to my user id yes so let me show you with the default identity provider this one i will go back and manually grant the roles now build app administrator developer yes and then i can click on assign and then if i go back log out once and log in again so as a developer i should always use default identity provider but as a end user i should use the custom identity provider which we registered so now i can come back and let me go back to launch build apps again again use okay default identity provider and this time i should be able to log in with sap idp and i should be able to launch the sap build apps where i can start developing my applications with my developer user 
perfect so this is how the home screen would look like and you can see the current tenant is marked as a development tenant where do you mark whether this tenant is a development quality and production so you go to control tower go to tenant details and here you can decide as a since i am the administrator also i can decide that yes so i can choose that which tenant is this and what is the identity provider it should use the default or custom in the custom then i can enter my own identity provider to give the login screen we will learn this in the future so for now let's keep it as a development tenant and now we go to the lobby so it all starts with the lobby lobby is nothing but it's a one-stop shop where you will see all your projects so in your company let's say if you are building uh, 10 different applications all these 10 applications resides in a repository right so this is the repository this is our repository where as a developer you will see all the projects which you are currently contributing to whether the project was built by you or somebody else but you are a contributor you are a